That's a really good question. At this point, Rochelle, Wells Fargo is not naming which states, but this really has been the trend, and not just for Wells Fargo, but for lots of banks. But as for Wells Fargo, yes, it got rid of free checking for new customers back in 2010. Then last year, it applied the fee to existing customers who lived in a few Western states. That was a test, but now that the test is over, they're going to go ahead and add it to those other six states that they're not mentioning yet. Uh, but notices have gone out, and CNN Money has heard from customers who live in New York feed with your checking accounts. Uh, at least with Wells Fargo, you can keep a $1,500 minimum balance. You can use direct deposit and uh, deposit a minimum of $500 a month. It's pretty standard. You know, and if those uh, stipulations are out of reach for you, Wells Fargo is also offering a $2, sort of a $2 discount, it knocked off the fee by opting out of receiving paper statements through the mail. Now, Wells Fargo says it's making these changes gradually to give customers time to, to go to their branch and and talk through their options and find the account that best works for them. Rochelle. Allison, how seeing the sort of mass exodus these days of, of, of many customers going from these big banks to credit unions. Credit unions usually carry carry few or, or no fees at all, uh, but really it's, it's worth checking out. Uh, lots of people are certainly going in that direction, Rochelle. Allison.